Welcome back to Last Three Brain Cells here. I am Sammy Terramina here with my guest, Ian Weatherspoon. Actually, my co-host, Sam? Ian Weatherspoon. Sam, can we say welcome back? I feel like it's been a long time. Maybe. Actually, take the back. Yeah. Let's go welcome back. You welcome. Know? Well, well, welcome. W- yeah, Welcome back, Ian. From the dead. From the dead. I mean, like, I remember, I remember when I was down in the dumps and basically, like, you know, having my email hacked and everything. Now I got it. Now I got a new email. Everything looks good. You're back up and running. I'm back up and running. We're sprinting and we're into sprinting. draft season. Yeah. I mean, a lot of excitement when you look at it. I mean, obviously, that's the big thing here, Ian, we look at. Starting football, you notice the spring games of college football. Yep. Um, I am still worried about Michigan State football, obviously. Best for another day. That's a different pod. I know. That's for a different pod, but... We got tonight. We got the NFL draft tonight. We're talking NFL draft. Do you want to go by division or do you want to go by the order of the draft? How about the order? Let's Ooh, start there. Be interesting. Yeah. I mean, you know what's you know what's interesting about this is the draft. The Chicago Bears had the first overall pick originally. Correct. Then they traded it to the Carolina Panthers for. Carolina now has the number one overall pick, and they basically trade almost a farm to the Chicago Bears. I know they gave up DJ Moore and their pick at nine. What else did they give up? I think I thought they picked three. I thought, but pardon me. How they were picking three, but that's just another thing. My, uh, I think they were nine because that's where Chicago is now. And my brain's just all gone. You know Why what? Why don't I mean? you do me two favors? What? Go to Google. Yeah. Pull up the draft order. All right, let's pull it up. Number two. Yeah. Turn my volume down on my headphones. Okay. Turn Not the it. mic. Where's the headphone volume? Is that uh, the headphone volume? I think that is. I think that is. We good? No, way down. Okay. We good? Talk a little bit. We good? No, that's that's my mic volume. I think. Oh, my goodness gracious. I yeah. don't know where the headphones are. I don't know where it is either. Maybe one of those knobs? Maybe. Hang on. Where am I plugged into? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to edit this out. Don't worry. Yeah. Somebody but, will. Somebody will. I mean, it's okay. Um, let's look at, a, I'm looking up a draft order right now, and you look at, of course, the, um, you look at, okay, I got the, I got the draft order right here. Chicago's back at nine. Yeah, right? Chicago is at nine. I mean, you know, of course, the NFL draft, they start at, um, you know, I mean, like, so we got round one, obviously, of course, we talked about this is the Carolina Panthers, um. You are right, Ian. They are drafted nine. Um, so what What quarterback is Carolina going to pick? Got Bryce Young there. It sounds like it's Bryce Young at this point, right? I mean, Anthony Richardson's not a bad player. Um, You got... To go number one overall, he is pretty unpolished. That is true. That is true, Ian. He is pretty unpolished. But, but everybody looks at Bryce Young and, okay, and okay you got to look at... Polished, but the you size... Got polished. Um, what about CJ Stroud? Could that be an option? I, I mean, would say also accomplished. I mean, CJ Stroud, I think, is very accomplished, but when you look at his mechanic, his body of work, you know, those two losses to Michigan really stand out, you know, because they do. They do. You know, um, I mean, he's had some big games. I mean, like, obviously, remember that Rose Bowl game against Utah where he just went nuts. And I mean, he had. He had his team in position to beat Georgia. Yeah, they had. Yeah. And, you know, and I so. think that's where. I think that's where it's going to be at, and, you know, I think he could go maybe number one, but when you look at the situation Carolina's in, and you look at, of course, the, um, you know, they are putting their whole stock on this quarterback. They're going to do it. And their new coach. And their new coach and their new system. Frank Reich is pretty good. Frank Wright was a very interesting hire by Carolina. I, mean, I do you like it the higher? I do. I mean, I'm not sold. I mean, like you know, I'm not sold on it. I mean, but I, I, he's a quarterback's coach. I get it. He is, and he gets out of Indy, which I think is good because they have an owner that's a little too much. How about Jim Mercy? Yes, I still remember his father when he took Baltimore to Indianapolis, yeah. and a lot of people in Baltimore absolutely hate him for that. Well. Who brought uh, the Browns to Baltimore? Art Modell. Modell. Thank I you. mean, obviously, you know what I mean? So that's really where, you know. So when you look at Carolina's needs, I mean, like, they did trade D.J. Moore to Chicago. 
I mean, wide receiver is going to be a big question mark for them now. Even though they did pick up um, DJ Shark um, from the Detroit Lions. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's a interesting move, to say the least, right there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I just think there's so many needs that Carolina needs that, you know, I think they gave up a little too much to Chicago. You know, I really did when you look at the trade. I mean, they did. That's what you got to do to get number one. You got to give up a lot. You got to give almost a farm this to do it. You right. know what I mean? You look at draft capital. I mean, you look at teams that are in beautiful position. You got to look at the Chicago Bears. Yep. You got to look at the Detroit Lions, obviously. The Seahawks. Uh, the Seahawks. The Eagles. The e- yep. The God, Bengals. Yep. Two picks. Yep. I mean, like, you really look at it here, you know, and then for Carolina just to do that, I mean, they've given up almost everything. I mean, I, I personally don't feel one of these quarterbacks was worth that. But No. Um, y- y- they, I don't they think had, this is a strong quarterback class, in my opinion. Well, if they were going to do it, the time was probably now. It's a new coach. You know, they they need to kind of groom each other in a way. Mm-hmm. Come up together with the, the, the organization. So the time was now. They, they couldn't wait around for another year to try to get, you know, Drake May or uh, the dude from USC next year. But Yeah, I mean. I don't know. So it's so basically it's Carolina. It looks like it's going to take Bryce Young. But Stroud is open to him. CJ Stroud, I, I really think. Don't be surprised if they take C.J. Stroud. I would not be. Because, not be you know, there's another team that needs a quarterback for sure. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot. The Houston Texans. Correct. Perfect example. Correct. They need a quarterback. And Are they going to settle with whoever Carolina doesn't pick? I or, think they will. Or because... do they go crazy and pick Will Anderson? They'll be crazy that would to be go crazy Will Anderson. Them? Because yeah. Yeah. you look at... Yeah, Houston was absolutely abysmal defensively last year. But Will Anderson would help. Quarterback, quarterback, Davis they were Mills. horrible. You can't do Davis Mills again. You can't do Davis Mills again. I mean, like, I, I mean, I, just, I went up against a team that started Davis Mills on their fantasy football team, and look what happened. He threw three interceptions <laughs> in, our, in our fantasy football league. He threw three picks. Well, bully for you. Yeah, so... But Houston, seriously, they need they need a quarterback. They seriously do. They do. Um, okay, before we get back to draft picks, why is nobody signed Lamar Jackson? Because he's can't still... You, can't you see him fitting in Houston, Atlanta? He's franchise Jets, tagged by Baltimore. But it's a uh, whatever tag where a team has to give up two first-rounders to go get him. <laughs> Who do you think will do that? I know the Lions don't do want to do that. I think Lions don't. But. If you're the Jets, who would you rather have? Would you rather give up some stuff to get Aaron Rodgers, or would you rather give up a little more to get Lamar? I would think for them, if they want to go to a younger option, well, it's Lamar. But if what they, about Atlanta? But it, but the Jets are starting to become the Green Bay Jets, you know, or the. New York Packers, for some reason. because You notice that, that all of Aaron Rodgers' buddies are now signing with the Jets. Is, is Aaron Rodgers going to go to Minnesota after? Heavens no. After one no. year with the Jets? Heavens no. Just completely I mean, follow Brett I mean, Favre's career path? If he does, I would be stacked if he does. I mean, like, bottom line is, I, I just think bottom line, Ian, is, you know, I just don't know. I mean, you don't I, know. I, to me, I'd rather have. I don't think Lamar's a great passer, obviously, but He's I would a great rather, runner. I would rather have him than than C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, Richardson intrigues me a little bit. Um, I would take Jared Goff over. Well, over, that's why the Lions aren't going to go get. Yeah, any of these and guys. They, they're fine where they, they're at. They're fine where they're at because I'll tell you what. With the Lions, with Jared Goff, I mean, like, they don't need they uh, they could get a backup quarterback. That's fine. Not but with the six. Not pick. with the six pick. I mean, don't go all Daniel Jones. Like, remember that a couple years ago with the Giants did when they chose Daniel Jones. You know, <laughs> now was, they just paid him. Now they just paid him. I mean, like, oh, like what are you doing? There are a lot of Lions fans that 
feel they should draft a quarterback with the sixth pick or even Absolutely trade up not. to get a quarterback. You need a defense for them, in my opinion. And I want to talk Lions in a couple minutes. Because okay. they need they don't really need have a lot of needs, but I would love for them to get a defensive end. They're trading up. They Opposite, better go get Will I, Anderson. Yeah, if you're trading up, you better go get him. Because I'll tell you what, right now, he is he is, I think, the best defensive pass rusher in this draft. He really is. It sure seems like it. It sure seems like it. You know what I mean? And then you look at obviously, um, you know, so when you look at other other teams who need quarterbacks, I mean, Indianapolis needs a quarterback. Where are they picking? Fourth. Fourth. They're fourth. Who's third again? Arizona. That's right. Oh. Arizona need a quarterback. Uh, Arizona's not picking a quarterback. No, they're not. No. There's no way. I mean, there's, I would be, I would be absolutely, I would just be just stunned if they drafted a quarterback. Although, Arizona they're going needs, to need one this year. To play because Kyler Murray's not going to play much. He won't play much, but still, I mean, they he, paid him a lot of money. They paid him a lot of future. money, you know. But I think they need to. They got some needs they got to address. I mean, obviously, do, I mean that looks like the obvious landing spot for if you're Will a, Anderson. Yeah, I, obviously, I could see that. You know what I mean? That would Will be a Anderson. bummer, though. Why? Because I want him here in this town. I agree Detroit. with you there. I mean, but the problem is, are they going to do it? Well, I got to imagine if you do it, you Arizona's trade fielding six. a lot of calls, right? Per, maybe from Indy, maybe not from Indy. No, Probably I wouldn't not. say Indy. I wouldn't say Indy. They wouldn't move up one spot. No, they would not. Unless they're threatening to take a quarterback, which I can't see. If I don't know. Well, if their quarterback's available, you know what I mean, like an Anthony Richardson type player. So that I, this is where I can see Anthony Richardson going at four. I, Indy. I, I see him going to Indy. But let's look at him. Is he a guy that's going to come in? And play? No. So, no. I don't you're right. He's not polished. I mean, if it's a if it's a CJ Stroud type player, it could be a quarterback we don't even know. Well, Will Levis is the other guy. Right. Will Levis, yeah. He that's could. the other interesting, but he's kind of like Anthony Richardson. Right. Um I mean I, he led TCU to the um that's, he led TCU. No, that's uh Tanner. Oh uh, Tanner. Uh, oh. Who is that? Duggan, Max Doug, Duggan. What did he, what did what did Everett go to for college? Everett's? Yeah. Who's Everett? I think I don't know. But quarterback? Yeah. Who Will Levis is the Kentucky guy. Okay, that's who I was thinking. Transferred from somewhere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's that. what I was thinking. Penn State, I think he transferred from Yeah, Penn State. Penn State. Uh, that's who I'm thinking. But Will Levis and Anthony Richardson are similar because they're the similar. results weren't there, but the measurables. Well, they're similar, obviously. Are there? I mean, Clearly, I mean, like, but, but I could see three quarterbacks going in the first four picks. I do. For sure. I mean, and then when you look at, of course, the Russell Wilson trade, you know, from Seattle to Denver, I still can't believe why Denver would do this trade in the first place. That was just, they, Seattle completely just fleeced him. And then now... You know, last year they made the playoffs. Denver's in a lot of trouble when you look at during. I mean, yeah, Sean Payton's a, a coach. I'm curious how he does with Russell Wilson if he turns into the next Drew Brees. Okay, but I wouldn't be surprised. Why would you say that? Because Russell Wilson's had a lot of success. Yes, and Sean Payton is in a way a guru. I mean, look what he did with Drew Brees. He is. Drew but, Brees was traded too. I mean. Yeah, but still, I mean, now Seattle's got a quarterback. Um, kind of. Kind of, you know what I mean? They've got a, they've got a, they're, they're in, Seattle and Detroit are in two very similar spots. Very similar, both those teams. Uh, similar quarterback situation, although Goff, I believe, is younger, but, you know, also. But Goff is a starter got, in this league. Yeah, Jared Goff was a starter in this league a long time with the Rams, and then. But a lot of people considered him a bridge quarterback. He's not anymore. Like Smith. Okay, so, all right, so this he, is why Lions fans want to draft a quarterback because they don't want to pay Jared Goff. Well, you're going to have to pay him. So you are in the camp that you want to pay him and not sign or not draft somebody up high. But if you draft somebody high, you know what I mean? If you draft somebody high like a Jared, you know, like Jared Goff's replacement, then, you know, that does help you economically. But 
if you're a team that wants to win now, like the Lions do, then, and Jared Goff has been proven to be your quarterback. I mean, I, this year, I thought was Jared Goff's best season of his career. The uh, 2018 was pretty good. I know 2018 was pretty good when he led him the Super Bowl, so advanced the Super Bowl, yeah. but pretty good. I thought, you know, he had a, rede- a redemption tour, you know? I'll he tell did. you what, I mean, like, you look at the last 10 weeks of that season. Yeah. And Jared Goff. They were a really, fine-tuned machine. On yeah, they were a fine-tuned machine. Except for it's Carolina. Just, well, the Carolina game was a complete disaster. We know that. Yes, it was. I mean, but still, I, I, I really think when you look at Seattle, I mean, yeah. they have the running game. I like K-9 over there. Um, They got the receivers. Their Does defense that, is not bad. Is that a landing spot for Jalen Carter? Yes, I could see that maybe being a landing spot for Jalen Carter. Do you see him slipping out of the top 10? No. You do not? I don't. Even with all the off the field noise? Well, he's got so much distractions right now. I mean, you look at, of course, the, the, I mean, like he, I mean, like with the law and all that, he's dealing with that trouble. I mean, like. Plus, there's rumors about his work ethic. There is, and that's I think that's a concern. If he goes five to Seattle, um, then I don't know how he would do for Coach for Pete Carroll. I don't know how he would do for him, but it would be very inter- interesting if he went five. Because if he goes to the Lions, you know Dan Campbell is going to eat him alive. <laughs> you know that. You know yeah. you bet he better come ready to work. If not, right? You know, Detroit. At six, it's probably the best spot I see Will Anderson going. Because not, I can't, they cannot get him at six. I know. They're going to have to trade up to get him. Because if imagine yourself if you put Will Anderson and Aiden Hutchinson on opposite sides of, of one another. Oh, man. Then you got a nasty pass rush. And you bring in Houston. Yep. You know, <laughs> and then you, and then you have that that secondary is re- tooled, restacked. It is. You trade Jeff Okuda for a fifth round pick. That was I interesting. Mean, if, if you're Brad Holmes, I mean, if you're Brad Holmes, you got so much draft capital. You know, they do, and you don't have a lot of needs right now. They do not. They do not. But I would say if you re if you get maybe you get more people on defense. I think there's more issues for the Lions on defense than there is offensively. Certainly, although to me, they could really use a big receiver. Yes. You've been me and you talked about that at the ON TV banquet. I mean, we talked about the fact that um they need a big a big time receiver. I mean, they really do. Like a tall yep. tough guy. Yes. Because they have a lot of speed, they have a lot of mm-hmm. finesse yes. in, in Jameson. Jameson and, and I'm gonna say Brown, yep. And Marvin Jones, I mean. Marvin Jones, I mean, like, he's a veteran receiver. Him and Reynolds, really good depth to yeah, have. they're good depth players to um, have. But I still think they need one kind of stud to just be an absolute nightmare of a unit. Yeah, and I, I, I can see it, definitely. And that's, I mean, call me crazy, but I'd still like to try to keep Khalif Raymond around. Yeah, yeah I, I could, too. I mean, I think Khalif Raymond's a very good punt return. If you can keep him on the roster as a punt returner and a backup receiver, I mean, just the the chemistry uh-huh. working with Jared Goff in year three uh-huh. for him and Amon Ra. Yeah. I think that's a huge, and Josh Reynolds even. I mean, they have some guys. That they are have good, some guys. Good pieces. Good, good depth, pieces, but, yeah. I mean, no one's <clears throat> going to replace Calvin, but a Calvin type. Uh-huh. To me, that's Johnston, and that's at pick 18. Yeah. Out of TCU. Well, they got the running. You got – they got that running back from Texas, you know, running back, you know. Tempting. Bijan yeah. Robinson. Bijan Robinson. Very tempting. Very tempting. Um, at number seven, you got the Vegas Raiders. So um, they're Josh McDaniel. About- oh, my goodness gracious. You get rid of David, Derek, you get rid of Waller. David Carr. Oh, Carr. You get rid of Carr. And you, Darren Waller. And Darren Waller. And now you pick up Jimmy Galafos, your starting quarterback. Yeah. Are you thinking New market. England? Are you thinking Bill Belichick here with Josh McDaniels? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Be if you're a Raiders fan, be afraid 
Be very afraid. Here's what I'm thinking. No, actually, here's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling, I'm going to get graphic here. I'm feeling vomit come up into my throat, you know, like. Yeah. Thinking about the Patricia years. <laughs> yep. And what the pa- the Bill Belichick tree has meant to. Oh, me. my goodness. This, th- they did mess. this experiment with the Lions. Look at Dan Quinn and look what happened there. It didn't work. Look at Josh McDaniels his first time around. Oh, my goodness. It was awful. Look at Bill Belichick without Tom Brady. That was awful. It hasn't been pretty. No, it hasn't been pretty. I mean, even their quarterback over at New England, I mean, still, I think that's still in flux. How would you feel if you're, you're, because they had an okay year when Josh McDaniels sure. was the coordinator, Mac Jones was a rookie. Yeah. They were okay. Sure. Did they make the playoffs? No. They were close. Oh, wait. Did they make? No, they didn't. They were close they if were they close. didn't. Okay, so you replace that guy, Josh McDaniels, with the guy that bombed out in Detroit as the defensive guru. You Matt make Patricia. him the offensive coordinator. He to doesn't lead, know an offense if it was like a lead daisy. year two of your career. He doesn't know an offense. You know what I mean? What? First of all, defensive guys. Yeah, those people lost their minds to me. <laughs> First Anybody of all, Patriot. I'm not being mean to you here, but. You know, it's it's really hard to transition from a defensive guru to an offensive guy. Really hard. Well, he wasn't a very good guru on defense either. No. Detroit never had a good defense. That's the Patriots true. did not have a good defense no. their last few years with no. him at the in you know, charge. You know who I'm very curious to see, Ian? The Atlanta Falcons. You know, I really thought they were going to make a play for Lamar. Yeah. And they signed Taylor Heineke. So you got Desmond Ritter and what? Taylor Heineke. After a half year, Raiders your quarterback Mariotti. for the Raiders your quarterback. I don't know. You don't know. Are they a team to trade up? Are yeah, they a team know. to trade up with Arizona? I don't know. They need defense for sure. Could Houston punt it and trade back? Again? No, I don't see Houston trade back again. I really don't. I mean, I don't um, know. There are to me, there are three big market teams. Watch out for them and what they're going to do. Who are they? That's the Jets, the Falcons, and the Texans. Texans yeah. are positioned well to get a quarterback. Right. They need the a Falcons and Jets. I, if I'm the Jets, I cannot rely on Aaron Rodgers. No. You can't trust the he Jets. Was sure he was going to retire before he went in his You can't cave. trust the Jets. That That is maybe a match made in heaven. You can't trust Rodgers I mean, they or do Jets, draft at so. 13, though. They do draft at 13, so that'll be very interesting. Um, Chicago, we've already talked about at nine. They got a lot of options, a lot of money to spend. To me, they got to go get an O lineman. Yes, they do. Their O line was absolutely. They got to get a lineman. They need get line. Them. They need linemen. They need they need offensive linemen. They need defensive linemen. I mean, they need help up front. DJ Moore is a good weapon. Yeah, they lost David Montgomery though. Yeah, I, I wonder where he went to. I mean, I can't remember. Can't remember either. But you know. But I, I don't know. They, did it, did this know. where is this where B.J. Robinson goes? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. But that, or that's a little that's wacky. A reach. That's a little wacky. You think that's a reach? I mean, it's getting a weapon, but if you don't have a line to run behind, right? If you don't have a line to behind, yeah, you're gonna have problems. Do we see the Bears making any additional moves? I don't see it. You know, they kind of got a haul. They got the number a haul. one pick. Can they yeah. bounce back up a little bit? Maybe they could. I mean, you never know. I don't know. But they got money to spend. They got money to spend, too. They could take on a player in a yes. trade. Yes. They can move back again. Yes. I mean, and then you look at the top 10, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Super Bowl, I mean, the um, NFC, NFC champs are here. That's criminal. Sadly, taken away from your Saints, you know. Do they take Jalen Carter? Do they? Does Jalen Carter make it past if the Lions don't take him, the Bears don't take him? The Eagles would have to take him, I th- right? Yeah, I think if, if if they do, I think they do take him because yeah, Fletcher Cox, Fletcher Cox, you have they keep they can keep a young man in line. I would say. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I that's where I think and go get him. May, I mean, does Atlanta take Jalen Carter? They just signed Calais Campbell from Baltimore. No, I don't see that. I don't see Atlanta taking him I mean, from Georgia. Yeah, Hello? it's from Georgia, local product. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Possible? Jalen Carter's going to be interesting. 
Will be. He's a guy I wouldn't mind the Lions having. Wouldn't mind either. But I, I just worry about his about his history. I think you mentioned Dan Campbell being a guy that's going to make him work. I think the Lions locker room, though they're young, they have a culture. They they have they an identity. Have a culture. They build an identity. And I don't think they'll tolerate a guy that's not pulling his weight. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I don't they know. don't, and you got to give credit to that to that locker room. You know, bunch of young, unproven guys. To say. You know. Yeah. You know. Tennessee is drafting 11 this year. Tennessee is another team. I call them the fighting Troy Anderleys. They didn't have a lot of fight after the second half of the year last year. Because because um, because their quarter, Ryan Tannehill got hurt. Yeah, Derrick Henry really struggled. Derrick Henry really struggled. They got to get a wide receiver. But there's a team that wants to move on from Henry. Who? Tennessee. Why? Because he's got a huge contract and he did not perform well. Derrick Henry could be a draft day trade. They traded A.J. Brown last year on draft night. I thought that was a, that was crazy. Was terrible. That was a terrible trade. They got their GM fired. Yeah. I, Where do you, if you see, who do you think would be a good fit for Derrick Henry if he got traded? For Derrick Henry? I could definitely see. Kansas City. Kansas City, maybe, yeah. <laughs> they need a running back. A team that is well-established that can somehow take on that A big contract. contract. Kansas City, for sure. I mean, I'm curious to see who they go after. Do they go after another offensive lineman? They just released Taylor Lewan. Um Tennessee did, yeah. I think they go get an offensive lineman. Really that is. would make sense. That would make sense. Their defense wasn't great either. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're another team. Mm-hmm. I think there are going to be some trades on draft night. Then you have the Houston Texans. Again. Again. They took Cleveland's pick. I think, was this the? Baker May was this the Deshaun? Deshaun Watson trade. Must be, yeah. Yeah, this is the Sean Watson trade. First of all, why would you give up a first round pick? Second of all, why would you pay Deshaun Watson two hundred and fifty million dollars guaranteed? <laughs> oh, oh why? Poor Cleveland. <laughs> Poor. That's a shame. Hey, I mean like you got hey, I mean like some very questionable moves over there by the Browns. Really questionable. They hired Jim Schwartz as their D coordinator. I wonder what the Miz is thinking about. Who? The Miz. He's a big Cleveland fan. Good grief. Yikes. Yikes. At least they got the Guardians, right? They still got the Guardians, yeah. Who just lost two to the Tigers. Twice in the daycare center. Ouchie mama. Yeah. one nothing was the, the double oh score goodness. there. 13 to New York um, Jets. <sighs> the, Gre- the New York Packers, we should call them. The New York Jets. <laughs> The New York Packers, we should call. Man. Does that somehow turn into the Packers pick on draft night? Yes, that does. There's I think. no way. You there's think no there's way. no way? There's no way. Oh, my goodness gracious, man. For Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> Who does not look good? No. Nope. Who's older than dirt? Yep. And the would Jets you. are insane. Would you trade for Aaron Rodgers? No. No. Two years ago. Maybe when, two years ago. When Stafford went, it was rumored that the Rams tried to get Rodgers. Mm-hmm. They should have pulled the trigger then. Green Bay. Instead, they pulled it with Stafford. And thank you, because that helped rebuild our franchise. That rebuilt the Lions, yep. And, you know, you look at what Jared Goff has become. Right. Jared Goff is He was no, a throw-in. He was a throw-in in, in the trade. No longer bridge quarterback now. He's a proven starter. One of the best quarterbacks in the NFC. Yep. I think he's the best quarterback in the NFC North. I would agree. You know? Cousins is not bad. It pains me to say it because I can't stand him as a pro. J- I got Justin Fields over at Chicago. Yeah, he's got a lot to prove. Yes. He's got a lot I mean, to prove. He didn't have a good year. Let's not forget no. that. No, he can't throw the ball. Or he didn't perform well throwing the ball. He didn't ball, perform well say. throwing the ball. Uh, But the Jets, I, 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 can't, I can't. I don't know. Who's pick 14? Uh, the New England Patriots, Bill Belichick. Oh, my goodness. Quarterback is a big issue for them. Line's a big issue for them. They got so many Weapons. issues. Weapons. They need Cougar. a lot of help. They need a lot of help. They need an offensive coordinator. Who'd they hire? Bill O'Brien? I think Bill O'Brien, yep. What is with them, man? They just Bring decide- in. 
They're trying to follow the Nick Saban coaching tree a little bit. Well, it's probably because there's only a handful of people. Bill O'Brien worked at, under Nick Saban when he was at Alabama. Right. I mean, a former coach at Penn State. Of course, leading the Nittany Lions to a Rose Bowl. Texans head coach. Huh? Texans head coach. Yes. You know? He didn't do too bad in Houston. I thought he got fired. He did, but they made the playoffs a couple times. Made the playoffs a couple times, true. He had Deshaun Watson. Yep. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I... I have grown to not even respect Bill Belichick anymore. He can't. That's a lie. I respect him and his career, but I don't respect this current Bill Belichick. No, no. Because. Shouldn't. He just seems like an idiot. Yeah. Uh, a cranky yep. idiot. Speaking of the Cheeseheads, Green Bay's drafting at 15. Yeah. Um. Jordan loves <laughs> quarterback. Hilarious Jordan loves pick. quarterback. Yeah, wouldn't it be hilarious if they picked a wide receiver or if they picked up B. John Robinson or something? That would be a terrible trade. Because though. Aaron Rodgers, his whole career, complained Look, about Green how ba- they never got a weapon up high. And they got a running on. back in A.J. Dillon, though. You yeah. know what I mean? Dillon and Jones, they're fine. I mean, they they got Lazard at Watt. Oh, wait. Lazard Lord is in son. New York, my friend. Oh, okay. They don't have any receivers, they have though. Christian Watson. Christian Watson, but they don't have any way opposite him. No. <laughs> but they never draft... Skilled players up high. You better draft. I think this is the year you go get one. That because... would just make me laugh so hard. <laughs> it's probably the year you go get one. Um, the Washington Commanders draft 16. They need Lamar Jackson. <laughs> I agree with you. They they have new ownership now. Yes. They could do it. If I'm them, do it. They should do it. They need to do it. They Trade do this it. pick to the Ravens. Right. Trade this pick the Ravens, you know, maybe give up a second round pick, maybe give up at least two picks for your first round pick and well, your second round pick. I believe they'd have to give up two first rounders. They don't have two first rounders. Well, it would have to be a future first. Yeah, maybe a future first, maybe. This year, next year's for Lamar. Would make a lot they'd of have sense. Have to pay him. Have to pay him, yeah. Um, But that would be interesting. That would be. That would be an interesting spot. I would kind of feel bad for, for Lamar because people – Constantly complain about that field, mm-hmm. FedEx field. FedEx field, yeah. And it's uh, the culprit for taking RG3's career. Yeah. So, you um, know, we got 17. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. The rumor has it they're, they, they don't be surprised if they were to trade up to get Jalen Carter, is, is the hot rumor right now. Really? With them. Really? Um, Who would they trade up with? I don't know. They'd have to get up in the top 10 somewhere. Definitely got to get in the top 10. They would 10, maybe yeah. have to jump the Lions. I don't know if I see that, but. I wouldn't mind trading with them. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it either. If Anderson's off the board at three. Mm-hmm. The Lions can move back. Maybe get more draft capital, maybe. Get another, you know, yeah. Who knows? Get, get more draft capital. Speaking of the Lions, they're drafting 18. Yeah. Um, We've already talked Lions a lot. I really don't want them to. You don't want them getting the running back? No, I don't want them to double up on defense here. I would not mind seeing them take a, this pick and take offense if they go defense with number six. I think they go defense with six. Tyler I wouldn't Wilson. mind them going defense. I wouldn't mind them maybe getting another linebacker, maybe. Well, I kind of think they could get a linebacker in the second. Maybe. You're right. But also having it so much draft capital, you know what I mean? Like well, they, they have do. two second-round picks. Yes. They have to come away with a linebacker they gotta before the end of the second round, right. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I think if they can get, like, if they address defense, they've already got the secondary figured out. Kind of. Kind of. They need corner. They need corner help still. But a that bit. can be. You can wait maybe until later round. rounds, yeah. But I could see them going offense. This might be an opportunity for them to go for that big play wide receiver that you've been talking about. Yeah. I mean, that's possible. I know they've been talking about tight end, but. You can get a tight end later on. You could. This is a deep tight end draft. Right. You can get a tight end deep. Uh, but there are a couple. The guy from Utah and the guy from Notre Dame are probably going to go in the first round. So Maybe. Tampa Bay drafts 19. Yeah. I mean. Weapons for Baker Mayfield. Weapons for Baker Mayfield. Or maybe a quarterback, maybe. You go At get a quarterback. 19, I don't know. I mean. Who? Who? The guys are going to be gone. Richardson the top probably four be, are gone. be gone. Yeah, Richard be gone. Levis Stroud, Levis Stroud, Richardson and Young. Richardson and Young, yeah, they'll be gone. Um, I don't know. That's a franchise in a mess, though. Yes, they need help everywhere. 
They do. They do. I would say more, definitely more so on offense. Yeah. They need help everywhere, offensively especially. Yeah. You know, they need that quarterback, you know. They need running back. They need. Well, whatever happened to that quarterback who went to NC State? Which one? NC State? He was a big, tall quarterback. He was drafted last year? Or what? No, a couple of years ago. Whatever happened to him? He backed up Brady. I know that. NC State. He's still on the roster? I can't think of who that would be. Yeah. It, it, it'll come to me. Seattle drafts 20th. This is their pick. I already fleeced the Broncos. Um... All right, talk Seattle. Yeah. Same situation as the Lions. Seattle, I'm not happy with them. Of course. So. Because they're drafting five, and then, of course, the Lions are drafting six. And they beat the Rams. And they beat the Rams. In the playoffs. Yep. Only to get shellacked by San Fran. Yep. If if we imagine it was the Lions who played San Fran in the playoffs. Would have been a tougher game for San Francisco. Yeah, but I don't know if game. the Lions could have won, but the way they were moving, man. It would have been a much, been a much, tougher, moving, been a much tougher game for them. It would have been nice to mm-hmm. see, but I don't care. We're going to have a home playoff game in early 2024. You're Lions. guaranteeing it. No. Of oh, course. I'm, I'm praying, um, praying. You're praying. And manifesting. Um, the Los Angeles Chargers draft 21. Yeah. I mean. They need to draft a new owner. <laughs> I agree with you there. They oh, should have gotten goodness. Sean Payton. Yes, I in agree. In my opinion. There. Yeah. Him and Justin Herbert. Because. The Chargers have a good roster. They yes. had a good roster for a while. Mm-hmm. They have a dope running their team in Brandon Staley. Yep. Who hired Joe Lombardi, former Lions offensive coordinator. Oh, my goodness. I remember that. They have weapons. They have a quarterback. They have weapons on defense. Why haven't they got the job done? And they're, they could take over L.A., man. Yeah. Instead, they are the clear second fiddle to the Rams. Whatever. That's Whatever. Their fault. You know? You think they should have moved to LA? No. You think it should have stayed in San Diego? Yes. Yeah? Makes sense. I do. My team drafts 20 seconds to the Baltimore Ravens, part of my empire. Oh, God. Um, Ravens, obviously. What do they What should they do then? <laughs> I mean, if Lamar don't want to play in Baltimore. I'll hang up and listen. If Baltimore don't want to. If Lamar don't want to play in Baltimore. Even besides the fact they just they just signed OBJ, um, so does that, is that enough to get Lamar back in? I think it, it is. What? I think it is to play for one year. They're not going to get a long term deal done. It doesn't seem like. Unfortunately, I know, but maybe that might be a good. But if they do, should Baltimore if they sign Balt- into a long term deal? If Baltimore drafts think? a quarterback, if Baltimore drafts a quarterback, you know LB no no LBJ no. is gone. I want to know what you think they should do. Should they have let this linger with Lamar? Should they try to trade no. him harder? No. Should he be the guy? I think Lamar should be the guy in Baltimore okay. because, you know, I, I think that, you know, he's a playmaker. He's a, got a solid arm, good runner. I mean, bottom line is, you know, he's a solid player. He's solid, but yeah. he was exposed, I think, in the playoffs. Yes, as I a agree. As a non-passer. When you've got to pass, you've got to be able to make big throws in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. I agree with you there, Ian. I agree with you there. Um, let's see. Jack in 23, um, the Minnesota Vikings. They're a mess. <laughs> kind of. They need big help on defense. They have yeah, help. especially help on – they need offense. linebackers. They need linebackers. They need they linebackers. Need help. They need corner help. Yep. They need a lot. You do. That's a shame. It is. Uh, Jacksonville drafts 24th. I That's, like where that program is. I like where they're going. They're a good team. They're good. They are good. I like where they're going. Me I mean, too. They're another team that's kind of going to be hitched with the Lions, I think. Mm-hmm. Seattle, Jacksonville, Lions, they're all kind of in similar spots. You think, they're, you think those are going to be the three future top teams in the, in the, I, I in the, know, the NFL? I don't know, because Seattle's quarterback situation is the one. Yeah, that's a big question there with Seattle. Because it, that is not a question in Jacksonville. No. Uh, that's where I would say they have a head up on the Lions. Mm-hmm. Young roster, and they have a young quarterback to go with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jared Goff's not old by any means. No. He's only like 28. Yes. So, uh, but Jacksonville, to me, they could use offensive playmakers. Yes. Maybe. Makes sense. They have make a sense. couple guys, uh, but, you know, letting, uh, what's his name go? Yeah. Shark last year, Jones this yep. year. Yep. Got some depth. That'll be interesting there. to keep an eye on, for sure. Yeah. Um, 
the New York football Giants draft 25th overall. Um, just re-signed Daniel freaking Jones to a long-term deal. They need help deal. all over. Yes, they I know do. they made the playoffs, but, I mean, they have Darren Waller. They you have got Saquon, Saquon. And then what's his name? Uh, Hodges or whatever. Hodges. Flashed at the end. Yeah. But, I, I mean, I like what they did to get Waller. Mm-hmm. The question with Saquon is he does not sign his franchise tag. That's that never a good. Distraction? That's a distraction. Uh, uh, they got they need the help de- on defense, I think. They, they they need some, not a lot. They had, to me, their defense was more their coordinator last year. I think and, so, too. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The guy who used to be in Baltimore. Yeah. Oh, not Greg Roman. Greg Roman? I think it's Greg Roman, maybe. Uh, But here's a for instance for you with where the New York Giants are at defensively. is mm-hmm. Gerard Davis is starting for them at linebacker in the playoffs. That's never good. He was on the Lions practice squad all year. That's never good. So, that's never good. I, 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 that could be a team where the Iowa linebacker goes to. Yeah, I can see that. Which would bum me out because he's a guy that I would like to look at in the second round for the Lions. I mean, I can definitely see that for sure. I mean, I Who's twenty six? Um, the Dallas Cowboys just lost Zeke. Um, Dak, you got Dak at quarterback. You got proven playmakers there. Um, they get linemen to be good for them. They need D they linemen. Need they need a D lineman for sure. They've been awfully quiet this offseason. Very quiet, which is on Jerry Jones' quiet. line. Uh, Are they going to be a draft quiet. night surprise? I don't know. I, I don't see it. Do things get wild, and do they trade up to get Jalen Carter? If they do, oh, boy. You know, one more note on Jalen Carter. I know we talked about him a lot, but he only visited with top ten drafting teams. Yeah, which is a it's an interesting strategy. It is because there are teams like the Giants, like the Cowboys, it's heck, a, like the Jaguars. Yeah, who could later in the draft, who could trade up? That's possible. They have draft capital. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if. We'll see how that strategy plays out for uh, for Carter. But uh, Dallas, to me, it would be an interesting fit. They've been too quiet, and they are on their last kind of licks here with Mike McCarthy. Yes. Because they let go of what's his name, their old coordinator. Right. Who was the Lions backup quarterback forever? Uh, Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, he's in uh, with the Chargers now. Um, So Mike McCarthy's going to be calling the plays. Oh, that's going to be interesting. So he's McCarthy's oh. in a prove it kind of year. Yeah. So does that make them a little more desperate to go and make a move on draft night? I, keep your eye on. It. Keep your eye to on me. It. Yeah. Uh, Buffalo drafts twenty seven. Another uh, team. They need help. Yeah. They, they need some help. Buffalo lost in the playoffs at home in the snow. Yeah, that's that bad. Ain't right. That ain't right. To me, they got to do... Lost, it was it Cincinnati they lost to? Yes. Yeah. To me, Buffalo's got to go up and get B. John Robinson. Yes, they need they need running help. Single, they lost Devin Singletary. They lost... He wasn't much of anything anyways. That's true. They need a guy that's going to excel in Buffalo in January. A dominant runner, yes. And I think B... Yeah, and I think Robinson's the guy. I think he definitely go and... Buffalo needs it. to take a swing on a big running back. There, There's a Derrick Henry landing spot for you. Yeah, there's a Derrick Henry landing spot right there for you. Maybe trade with Tennessee. Maybe that could be a draft night trade. That's possible. Would you take, if you're Buffalo, pick 27 uh, for Derrick Henry? Yes. You would do that? I would do it. Because Derrick Henry, you need him in the playoffs. You know what he can give you. Yeah. I mean, you uh, know what he can give you. They they need some tough guys in Buffalo, though. I agree with to you. To me, because but then they, you gotta they're a little the, soft. You got to address the line, then. Both offensive line and defensive line. You know they what do. I mean? Those I mean, are you, tough guys. You got to address it. both that area. I mean, then obviously that's where I think you need to address. Well, they were without Von Miller. That is true. Uh, in the second half of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Buffalo is a team I want to root for. Mm-hmm. But they're a bit soft. Yes. Yes, yeah. Which is not how a team in Buffalo is going, going to win. No. And Just especially like in with Detroit. the weather. Especially with the weather they have. Well, with Detroit, you know, they play their games indoors, but they they're going to have to win games outside. I mean, last year at Lambeau, he kind of proved a little bit, you know what I mean? Right. 
where they got to have tough guys. Got to have tough guys. To there win. are teams that can have finesse players and kind of pretty boys. Mm-hmm. Dallas, yeah, the Rams, the Rams, the Jets. Some the of Jets, these yeah. towns: mm-hmm. Buffalo, Cleveland, Buffalo, Cleveland, Detroit. Detroit. You got to have. You got to have tough team. guys. You got to have tough guys because you have a stigma of the franchise you're battling against. Uh huh. So and. You know, and you got to handle that, and that's going to be interesting to see what happens. It will there. be interesting. Buffalo, Dallas, some of these later teams in the draft could make some big swings. They could. Draft night. Man, they I could. Can't wait if they make some big swings, Thursday. if they make some gambles, you know what I mean? Who knows? Yeah. Um, Cincinnati drafts 28. The Hoodays, they need offensive line help. They do. They need, that's what uh, That's what you got to have There's with them. There's a lingering T. Higgins. Yeah. Is it T. Higgins or Tyler Boyd? I think it's Tyler Boyd. One of those guys. Is trying to get paid here, mm-hmm. uh, but they have between those three receivers. To me, that's a great receiving core. Sure, uh, but with Joe Mixon not coming back, yeah, you mentioned the line they need help. It was a bit of a revolving door yeah. early last they year. They need help up front, man. They do. Their defense, you know that. Their defense, uh, they lost in the backfield. They lost Bates, right? Their safety, right? Uh, but their defense was quite good last year, mm-hmm. especially in the second half of games. Right. They closed the door a lot. On mm-hmm. that team. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Running back. Later in the draft, you could they get didn't a draft get a running back. I could see that. But, um, or I'm sorry, later in the first round. First round, yeah. Later in the first round. Um, but I, I, I really see what Cincinnati is. They need help, especially up front, because yeah. you can't have your franchise quarterback on the ground. At right. least he took, he's taken, is it Joe Burrow? He's taken such a beating. And he's already dealt with an ACL. Yeah, and he's already had an so. ACL injury. So, you know, he's taken such a beating, that's for sure. Um, this pick has been through a lot. Um, the New York, I mean, like, you had the San Francisco 49ers trade the pick to Miami through the Denver Broncos, and now the New Orleans Saints owns this pick at 29. Was that for Sean Payton? I think that was for Sean Payton. Wowzers. Yeah, wowzers. So, Nolens is drafting late. Yeah, they're drafting late. And Do they go up? I, no, I can't see them going up. Why? Because they're in a bit of a cap yeah, they're, trouble. Yes. Um, They've been in cap trouble for years now. So, I, I don't know. Not that first-rounders get paid like they used to, so that wouldn't be too prohibitive for mm-hmm. a cap situation, I guess, but I don't know. New Orleans, okay on defense. Just signed Derek Carr. Yes. Uh, Michael might Thomas is co- coming back. Might help your quarterback situation. Now, might help your offense a I, little bit. I think Derek Carr is a pretty good quarterback. Yeah, I think so, too. I mean, I just think he got a bad rap when he was in L.A. What, Kamara, in Vegas. his legal issues. Um, <laughs> you got to keep an eye on that for sure. The NFC is... <sighs> it's wide open. It is wide open. Because is Philly go- going to be what they were last year? I don't think so. It just signed them Jalen Hurst. They lost half contract. their defense. Yeah. They lost Miles Sanders. Right. Now, granted, they have a great general manager who is going to, and they have a lot of draft capital. Yep. And the Eagles, speaking of them, they're going to draft 30th, but right. we'll talk to them in a minute. Right. So, I don't know. With the Saints, their division is it's- one that is really wide open. Yeah. <laughs> because who's standing in their way? Nobody. 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 Uh, the Buccaneers don't scare me. Mm-hmm. Rookie quarterback in Carolina doesn't scare me. Mm-hmm. And who's the other team in the NFC South? Um, Bucks, Carolina. Saints. Bucks, Panthers. Saints, Panthers. Why am I drawing a blank? And um, it, it's Bucks, Saints, Panthers. My goodness, I can't believe. Falcons. Falcons. Jeez, oh, Pete. Yep. Uh-huh. Again, another team without a quarterback. So mm-hmm. they, they have the best quarterback situation mm-hmm. in that division. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're, they're, And they're, they are not a team that's ever been shy about making moves, taking yeah. big swings. Mickey Loomis. Yeah. That's what he does. Okay. And then we got the two um, Super Bowl representatives. You got the Philadelphia Eagles drafting 30th. We've already talked. They need to address their defense. Yeah, Obviously. They lost a lot on defense. Yes, they did. Oh, man. They got... Going back to the Lions, they lost C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Yep. Yep. C.J. Yep. Uh, great pickup for the Lions.
Yes. So, but they also lost uh, Bradbury, their corner. Mm-hmm. Did they lose him? Or did they resign? I think him? they lost him. I think they lost. No, they him. kept Slay. Uh, but they lost their D tackle Har Har Hargrave. Yeah. Went mm-hmm. on to San Fran, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Phil- Philly's got to retool on defense. Yes, they do. And they lost both their coordinators. Right. So that'll be very interesting to keep an eye on. It would be. Yep, and then we have the last pick of the first round here, Ian, is the Kansas City Chiefs running back. We've talked about that. If they want to, if they want to take a shot at you know across Buffalo, because mm-hmm. to me it's Buffalo and Kansas City are they're still right there. Cincinnati's right. I know, I know right Cincinnati's there. right there. Um, yeah. Where does Derrick Henry go? What happens That's on the big question, Derrick Henry. That's a big uh, question. I, I mean, I think he's a big player to maybe move on draft day. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I I really think so too. Bottom line is, when you look at the end up the um the draft in the first round, I could see several teams move and make a big moves. Mm-hmm. I mean, and do the Lions capitalize on that and trade they, their sixth pick back? If they do, I think it'll be a big mistake, but. That's just my you opinion. think they should stay? Stay at six. Um, if not, try to trade up three. If you trip three, you know what I mean? That's a big deal. To me, I say they either draft at three or back. If they can't get up and get Arizona's pick, I kind of want them to move back. That's me. We'll see how this goes. They do have a premium pick with the top ten pick, though, so it could be enticing with crazy teams like Dallas. Yeah, Dallas will run watch. New Orleans, watch them. Uh, I mean. I don't think the Broncos have a first round pick. They don't have the a first round century, pick. But, <laughs> no, they uh, don't have one for a long while. With San Fran, they don't have anything. They've traded a lot. It'll be interesting. It will be. They're they're sitting pretty, though, the Lions. They are. I mean, this will be very interesting to watch. Um, okay, now, final thoughts, Ian, before we, um, before we um, go off? I say we hold on tight. Enjoy the next week because there's going to be a lot of buzz. Uh, the day leading up to the draft and draft night, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we can collect our thoughts after draft weekend yep. and get back in here and talk, yes, let's talk do through that. some results. Let's do that. All right, man, we're going to sign on off here. Um, Take care. God bless, everybody. We'll, su- we'll see you real soon, everybody, on Last Week Brain Cells. Take Peace care. out. Peace out, buddy.